<coughs> okay, yeah. uh, hey guys, Miles from Nexus Core, back. Atlas Core? <laughs> yeah, you're right, uh, Atlas Core. Um, back from Riverside, yeah, I mean, California. Uh, here with a Blue Wave Aqua Force deck profile. So starting it off with the starting Vanguard, we got Blue Wave uh, Dragon Dagger Master Draco Kid. What it does is um, Forerunner, obviously everyone knows that, and then Act GB1, Counterblast 1 and shove it to the soul. Um, uh, when you pay the cost, basically, your Blue Wave Vanguard gains the skill, wave second time or more, when it attacks, draw a card, and wave fifth time, um, is it fifth time only? No, wave fifth time or more, when it attacks, it gains a critical. Uh, so that ties into the G unit, um, and that ties into a G unit and um, the secondary grade three, which is a pleasant surprise that you probably already know. Uh, moving on to the trigger lineup, we got four crits of um, Blue Wave Soldier Brutal Trooper. This uh, its skill is basically act shovel uh, act shuffle it into deck. Give your Vanguard the same skill as Draco Kid. So on attack, wave second time or more draw. Um, it just doesn't gain a crit. And then uh, the other critical trigger. This deck does not need stands. Um, Supersonic Sailor shove into Soul Unflip. Everyone knows that practically an Aqua Force staple, especially in a deck that counterblasts a lot like this one. Uh, the heel is Ice Flow Angel. It has to be Ice Flow Angel. That's the card that was kind of like equated with Blue Wave back in the day, it at least for dildo? me. Yes, it's Ocean Dildo. Um, ice Penis, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, run this card. And for Battle Siren Malika, she's shuffling his soul, giving unit 3k, so it's nice for title assault. Hey, at least you're not running 12 crit. Yeah, or guys do that, run 12 crit. No, just kidding. Um, you want, you, Aqua Force needs at least some draw engine, does not need that much, especially this deck. Uh, this deck already has a fantastic draw engine. We've got the grade ones, three. <laughs> Cause Narukami doesn't have one. <laughs> Moving on to Battle Siren Stacia, uh, continuous GB1. Uh, um, during your turn, when this, uh, this unit gets, um, these, the skill to it that it can attack from the back row, and if it attacks from the back row, it gains 3k. So you can make like 9k pokes to your opponent's rear guards, um, or like using Lambrus, you can resend it and the unit in front of it, or like somewhere else on the field, and get like two additional attacks. Um, using the great main grade 3 skill, you can get an additional attack with her. She's basically just more of a poke that helps you hit the fourth guy. Um, moving on to Blue Wave Soldier Bright Shooter. Its skill is, uh, um, this isn't GB specific. A lot of the cards in this actually aren't GB specific, which is nice, but they really only have practicality if you stride, or during the turn you stride. Um, wave fourth time or more, when it boosts a unit attacking the Vanguard, if you have a blue wave, if you have a blue wave Vanguard, um, pick a grade three blue wave in your drop zone, add, add it to hand. So like the turn you discard it to stride, and then like, you, like let's say you, know, you discard a blue wave grade three to stride, your blue wave Vanguard. When this boosts, you get to grab it back. So it just helps to recycle. Um, if, if you don't really see like that much of a use in this card, it doesn't always like help out that much. You can try it at a three of, you can ditch it down to a one and maybe run an extra Stacia. Uh, I think two is perfectly fine. Uh, and then four stride fodders because uh, uh, Kelpie Rider Nikki. Um, even though Bright Shooter helps to recycle your uh, stride, you know, your like your grade threes to stride with, the initial striding really helps, especially when you won't get your plus engine off until after you've stridden once. So four, you could run three and run an extra. The grade one lineup can be changed up a bit. This is just, in my opinion, the optimal grade uh, grade one lineup. The deck does also counter muscle a lot, so you could run one jellyfish soldier, which is you know on call, so blast two, on flip two, but um, not totally necessary. Then uh, finally, for Ocean, Cape, Ocean Keeper Plato, uh, it's the GPG. When you guard with it, if you have a copy in drop zone, counter charge one. The deck counter blasts quite a lot, so counter charging's nice. <clears throat> Moving on to grade twos, for Blue Wave Marine General Foivos. Um, its skill is wave second time, wave third time only, my bad. Um, when it attacks the Vanguard, if you have a Blue Wave Vanguard, Counter Blast 1, and um, this unit gains 2k, and then after it attacks, you restand. Uh, it's a great card. 
You can resound with Thavas to hit 21k alone. Or Lambros, not Thavas. Um, and it just helps to hit your fourth battle. Four. Title Assault, Aqua Force Staple. Everyone knows this card. Um, after it attacks the Vanguard, it has to restand with minus 5k. So if you want to be smart with it and you combo it with Lambros, attack the rear guard first. You're implying people in this game are smart. Yeah, you're right. Reading's hard. Um, next up is uh, two Blue Wave Marine General Damia. Her skill is um, Soul Blast 1. <clears throat> Soul Blast 1, um, when your Grade 3 or Greater Blue Wave Vanguard attacks, you may pay the cost. If you do, pick your vanguard, one rear guard, and then your vanguard, that rear guard, and this unit all gain 2k. So it really helps your vanguard for hitting higher numbers, especially with uh, its own skill for gaining power. And um, like uh, with this and uh, the main grade three stride skill, you can hit, a, your vanguard can be swinging for 31k. And again, using this with title assault to turn it into 11k for a poke is also really nice. And then the final grade two is two High Tide Sniper. This card's still fantastic. Um, I honestly don't know why some people don't run it. Like, GB1, when it attacks anything for the third battle or more, Soul Blast 1, it gains 10 pull thousands. Um, so like, if you use Lambros to restand it, you can go like, oh, I'll attack with this for, and then skill, 19k, uh, restand so it's at 19 again, attack, soul blast again, 29k. Like, what's not to love? And the only other card that really uses soul is um, Damia and a G unit in here that you're probably not gonna use that often. And you have four trigger, you have eight triggers and a starter that all go into, no, yeah, you have eight triggers and a starter that all go into soul. You're gonna be fine. This like, it's just such a good card and it, it's fantastic for the pressure. And honestly, that's what Aqua Force is about, in my opinion. Just high hitting numbers and just good old pressure. Moving on to the grade threes, the main grade three is Blue Wave Dragon, um, Anger Boil Dragon. Great card. First skill is GB2. When it attacks for the wave for the second wave only, um, pick a unit, resand it. It gains 10k, and this unit gains five. So when I so I can attack with a rear guard, then attack with this for 16. Then my rear guard restands with another 10k. You can use that with high tide. So you go high tide, attack for just nine or 16k column, restand it for 19. Then you can attack with high tide for 29. Uh, and then its other skills, a stride skill, it combos with the G unit Tetra Boil Dragon. Um, when Tetra Boil strides over Anger Boil, these names are weird. I don't get the boil. Um, your uh, huh? Has steam. But there's no heat involved. Yes, they are. Anger creates heat. Have you not seen that one show that did it? Ah, yeah, I remember that show. That was Anger my favorite show. Pain. pain leads to suffering. <laughs> this is damn profile. No, don't tell me what to do. Um, the prequels are the best ones of, of Star Wars, by the way. True, true. Anakin was truly a be the best character. Uh, so when you stride with Tetra Boil, um, your Vanguard gains 3k, like, for the turn. Um, which, again, is what allows... Uh, Damia to get your Vanguard up to 31 uh, with just a Soul Blast. And um, so your Vanguard gains 3k and the skill wave second time only when your Vanguard attacks your opponent's Vanguard, pick two of your rear guards at rest, restand them, and each of them gain 3k. So what you can do is you have a column here, right? And then you, you, it's the turn you stride to Tetra Boil. You attack with that column, then attack with Tetra Boil, restand that column. So now you have like a sixth battle or a fifth battle for whatever reason. It gives you an additional attack um, with an additional 6k on top of it. That's just really good. Or like, let's say you have a column that's like high tide and um, Stacia. She's somewhere in there. You know what Stacia does. You could be like, okay, attack with um, Tetra Boil, restand this column, do my all the other shit, and then like attack with this for 12 plus the 10k from its skill, 22, and then poke with Stacia in the back for 12. So it just allows for even more offensive plays. Um, I take offense to that. Hey, good. That's the point. Other grade three. Blue Wave Dragon, Tetra Drive Dragon. A personal favorite of mine. Uh, its skill is Limit Break. When it attacks the Vanguard um, for the second battle, it gains the skill. Uh, so again, 
it's limit break is what it is, is it is it gaining red text so if you heal the second time you can still use its skill if it when you attack with it for the first time and then heal and you're at three damage its limit break will fizzle out is this the same one that you use with the break right all the time yeah because that was fantastic around the day because your opponent it. would make two um <clears throat> so what it does is uh when it attacks the banger for the second battle it gains the red text where um, after your rear guard attacks for the fourth battle, counterblast two, discard two Aqua Force cards, and restand this unit. Its other skills, counterblast one plus two K, but you're not really going to use that. In fact, you seldom use this card. Actually, it's really just an auxiliary. An auxiliary. Fuck. It's just a secondary grade two. It's just there. Yeah, it, it's there for the blue wave heart. <laughs> you Why not use the um, legion? You would have to change up the grade two lineup to incorporate that into it, and the lesion just seems kind of like counterintuitive with the rest of the deck. That's fair. Anyway, strides. Huh? Yep. Moving on to the G units. This is the legion blue storm, not blue wave. That too. It isn't. Yeah, it's, it's a blue because that's the blue storm deck. Wow, that's yeah. that's a cancer. It was a good deck though. Um, the main card of the deck, uh, blue wave martial dragon tetra boil dragon. Um, its skill is GB2, counterblast one and flip a copy of it. When it attacks for the second wave only, um, you pay the cost and it loses one drive check, so it becomes twin drive. Then it gains red text where um, wave fourth time only, when your rear guard attacks during that, during that battle, uh, discard one card and restand this unit. So it's just a better version of Tetra Drive. And um, so here's the thing about it. You can combo it with the starter to have it gain that extra crit when it attacks again. You can combo it with um, the starter's first skill and the uh, Brutal Trooper's skill. So like, let's say you use one Brutal Trooper and one of uh, and one uh, Master, da Dagger Master. Um, it gains the skill where it can, you know, wave second time or more, it can draw twice now. But because you're attacking your Vanguard two times, you get to draw a total of four. So it's just a really good combo for just amazing pluses. I've gone four Brutal Troopers in one turn, and I've gotten a hell of great hand because you just draw everything you need. Like, your hand may be a little messy before you stride this, but after striding this, you'll... I mean, if you're... if it's... You just have... You, it, it helps you get a lot of cards in hand. It's like a great card for pressure as well. Um, yeah, and then uh, one Wailing or Storm of Lament Wailing Thavas. Uh, I don't really use this card that much. In fact, in all of my games with this deck, I have yet to use it, but it's still pretty practical. Its first skill is GB3. When it attacks, for each battle your rear guard made, um, so like if you attack twice with Tidal Soul and then like twice with Foivos. Uh, that's four battles. Pick your opponent chooses one of their rear guards for each battle your your unit made, and they retire it. So if you somehow get in five attacks before attacking with this card, your opponent can you you do a field wipe. And then second skill is GB two wave third time or more counterblast one when this unit attacks the vanguard for each battle your unit made. So again, if you made like the four game, it gains five k. Um, so if you made five, if you got in five attacks, it gains 25k on top of its initial 26 for a 51. And your opponent can't drop grade ones to guard against it. So they can drop grade two units, they can guard with grade two units, they can guard with their triggers, they can G-guard, but they cannot PG. Um, What's a then, PG? <clears throat> exactly. Wailing Thavis doesn't know. Then uh, four Storm, Dom Storm Dominator Commander Thavis. This is pretty much your first turn stride. Uh, save one situation. Um, basically what it does is act once per turn, flip a copy of itself face up in G-Zone, pick one of your rear guards, it gains 5k, and it can attack from the back row. So like, let's say you want to pull off a rush early game, you know, for the pressure that Aquaverse is so, wonder so wonderfully does, um, so consistently does, however you word. And, uh, but you don't want to, you know, put like your Foivos or your Tidal Soul in a, in a, uh, in a in a position where it can get killed and like you don't have your draw engine pulled off yet so you holy shit that's a fat richard i just a fat guy who looks exactly like you richard um anyway uh okay <laughs> um basically like you can keep your units in the back row and they can still use their you know they can still attack and use their skills but they're safe now aside from yeah. kaguro and not narukami because they can barely retire the back row i'm quitting this game and going to <laughs> now that link monsters are a thing <laughs> 
why build Link Joker when you can just Link Summon? Um, and then its other part of the skill is uh, during that same turn that you use the skill, it gains GB3, wave fourth time only when this unit attacks, when your unit attacks the Vanguard. Um, pick three of your opponent's triggers and they kill off one. And then uh, this was the our um, two Marine General Heavenly Silk Lambros. Basically, it skills uh, wave fourth time or more. Uh, you can flip a copy of itself face up, pick two of your rearguards and reset them, and then if you have two or more uh, face up G units, each of them gain 10k. Just a great card. And then uh, one Blue Wave Brave General Arteom. Um, this is pretty a pretty situational G unit, and like I would pretty, pretty much the only situation you use it in is if you're stuck having Tetra Drive as your heart instead of Anger Boil. Basically, what it does is act once per turn, you Soul Blast a blue wave, and then check the top seven for a different blue wave grade three and exchange it with the heart, putting the other heart into the G zone and, I mean, into the drop zone and shuffling the others back into the deck. You can also just use it for trigger thinning, but like, again, you get your, you get the most out of this deck if you have Anger Boil as your heart. So if you don't have Anger Boil as heart, you're stuck with Tetra Drive, I'd recommend going into this as your first try. And then G guards, two Flosha, um, wave, when your opponent, when your Vanguard is attacked for the um, uh, first or second wave, it gains 5k. Otherwise, it's just vanilla 10k, uh, vanilla 15k. One Dismal, um, you know, when you guard with you, give your rear guard resist and it can't be attacked. And then one Screw This can be changed to another Dismal because of how, you know, like, rear guard reliant this deck is. Because of VMAX. Yeah, definitely because of VMAX. Um, <laughs> And uh, the other reason why another Dismal be practical, well, the other reason why this is, why I picked this over Dismal is because, um, because the deck gets off so much, like, draw power because of the crits and the, you know, starter comboed with, um, Tetra Boil, you don't really need to protect your rear guards because if they die, you can just make up for them getting lost. What this unit skill is when you g with it, if you have two or more face-up G units, discard one plus 10k shield. That's the deck. Um, I hope this helped you. I hope you try it out. I hope you have fun with it because I, leg I legitimately enjoy the deck. This is Miles from Atlas. I mean Nexus Core. Signing off.